it's a big gash and so they're gonna go in and uh, sew it up and so she can get some numbing medicine and the doctor just came in and took a look at it and they're gonna sew it up real soon. All right, so we saw the doctor. He just came in. He took a look. Um, the doctor that's gonna actually do the, the stitches, and he was just uh, describing how to help the wound afterwards. Okay, so we haven't even told the story of what happened, have we? No. So she was in the pool at our hotel. There was some rocks and a bridge at the pool, and she was up on the rock. Yeah. So she jumped from the rocks, hit her head, big gash right there. It bled so much down her that it really scared all of her. Like. Sebi came running, crying, and Brindley was running and crying, and said, "Come, um, you know, come help her. She's bleeding, and she has a big gash on her forehead, and really, really scared all of them." And so, anyway, that's what happened. So that's why we're here. Yeah, that's just a tear. And so, um, gosh, scared me to death when I just saw her come from back there with just so much blood on her face. Put a towel and put pressure on it, and then. Um, so anyway. We're at the hospital, um, they just put a numbing cream on her forehead that takes 30 minutes um, to kick in and then, then they'll then start the procedure with getting her sewed up. Hi. I'm okay, just let you know. Well, hey, at least it, it's up here, it's not like it's right here. Alright, so you can cap her still just kind of hanging out and uh, they are going to get some more topical because it's still tender to the touch so they're going to do more topical <laughs> and uh, to help with the pain and then um, they just gave her Versa which is just a oral um, that will just kind of relax her and calm her down and all that so that she'll be better, better ready for doing what she's got to get done. Okay, so she's got her first initial stitches in probably like across the gash one in the side one in the middle one on the other side something like that that's what it looked like to me what they did is just kind of close it up initially and they want to see if blood's pulling underneath um so if it's not pulling underneath it's great and fine and they'll keep going if it is pulling underneath uh i'm not sure what happens so we'll they're not done yet. see no no um so you they just did the first initial stitches just a few and they're going to make they put pressure on it and make sure the bleeding stops underneath. No, they got pressure on it right now. Oh. Pressure's already on it. So now they're going to just see make sure the blood's not pooling underneath. Okay, that's where we're at. The doctor's still going to check for the pooling underneath. Haven't done that yet. Um, but at least now she's got her blanket. She's got a pillow. She's got a Anna gown, and they're much warmer and happy, and just hanging out until find out if it's pulling, and they can finish with the stitching after that. Okay, so she is um, done with her stitches, and she's all done. There's no pooling of blood in her wound, so she's good to go. She's stitched up, and now they're doing the most important thing, which is to do a TikTok. Yes, of course. Alright, let's take this little poor little girl home. She gets to sit on your lap again. She looks like she's like, like, she looks... Like, so, like, like I don't know what, right? Like, she was in a... Uh, she looks like she, she's like back from like a hospital from the war. Like. Yeah, yeah, she was just in a war. She was just in a war. I know. Got let's go. Concussion and I know, and yeah. Like, been lost her memory. Lost her memory and she's like in it with a new family. Hi, we're your new family. You remember us, right? All right, let's go tell mom how everything went. Sebi and Brindley were so traumatized by what happened to you. Know, they were so bad. scared for I what happened so to you. I so bad for Brindley and Sebi. I know, Brindley they were crying. Looked, when Brindley looked at me, she started screaming. She started screaming? She started screaming. Oh my gosh. so bad. Uh, I wasn't even down there. Mm, I, was like, I, I was in the room I know. Molly. I know. And I was like, and I started to cry. Because you were scared when she's scared. What's happening? And then I thought I was going to die. I know. Because I thought I was losing a bunch of I know, I know. Okay, let's go home. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so this is where it happened, right? Mm -hmm. So explain where. So what? It was on the other side, but we'll just explain it on this side. Um, so she was like on the rock. Like where Sebi is? Yeah. Back further, okay. I don't know where he was. But she was like on the rock and she was jumping in to like dive into the water right there. Yeah. Um, 
but he to get away from Sebi. Realized that it was so low, so instead of um, like diving in, he hit it. Right on that edge, yeah. right there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's where it happened, right there. Okay. So we finally sat down. We finally, it's the next day, and we just wanted to kind of tell the full story of what happened yesterday to Caffrey. So starting out with, we'll start with Capri because she was the one that happened to. They were outside by the pool playing. We've showed you Burning where it happened. And, and so then basically we were playing a game where um, Sebi was chasing us and Sebi was coming. So the lazy, the, the lazy lake. Lazy river. <laughs> the lazy, lazy river, river <laughs> was going like this. And we were all running this way, but Sebi came by the stairs, and he jumped in and started coming this way. Of course, it was hard to, like, swim because the water was pushing that way. So when he started to come over, I decided to get on the rocks so I could jump over and swim away from him while he's, because I'm right here, and he's coming this way. And I thought if I go like that and go like that. You got out of the water? Then I can go. So yeah, yeah, I was up, up onto the rock wall. Oh, okay. Up on the rocks, and he's over here coming to me, and I was like, and then, no, no, first, you were trying, somebody was trying to, like, grab my legs. Oh, I, no, that was a while ago. I, oh, okay. Last time. So then I was walking, and I jumped, thinking that nothing would like happen. Like, you would dive in. Just, like, like dive in. This is under the bridge. Oh, but did uh -huh. you, did you go, did you dive? I, no, I didn't dive. Like, jump oh. out. She tried to dive, but then uh. hit. Oh, so, so you were trying back. to dive? Kind of, not really like a dive dive. Just kind of kind a of jump, like a, a power jump, jump kind of. Like, kind of like just like, like fast so she can jump. Oh, like running and jumping. Yeah, because you're okay. trying to, because it was wasn't really jumping. like a jump like. Yes, yeah, she's running, like, so she's going like this. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, it was. I jumped, I hit, so like the bridge is like right here, and I jumped, and it hit right here. Did you say it flipped you backwards? And so then after I hit, I flipped backwards, my legs came up, and I fell right into the water. And I was thinking at that moment that um, it because it, it didn't really hurt that bad when I hit it. I don't know how, but it didn't hurt. Bad, bad injuries don't usually hurt exactly. that much because the so nerves are in injured. Yep. So it didn't really hurt that bad. It was kind of just like when you normally just hit your head. And like, oh, oh dang it, I'm going to have like a big bruise and we're probably going to have to stop playing this game and leave soon anyways. Mm -hmm. So I went to go check if there was like a bumper. Cause I was like, cause it actually And that's started, when you came out of the water, but you were, when I came you out, were like, ow, ow. ow. Cause it's actually, that's when yeah. it started to hurt. Mm -hmm. And so when I came, I was like, ow, ow. And then I felt, and usually when you Trigger warning. It, Trigger warning from here on out. Trigger warning. Trigger warning. Just Skip Very bad part warning. Unless okay. you want to hear it. Okay. Um, and so when I went to go feel, instead of feeling skin, I put my hand, I put my hand, and and I didn't feel any skin. I felt I went in and like I don't know really how to explain it. Was like a big so gash, that, and then I an felt opening. Like she it was an like open, open gash, skin. and I was terrified. And when I came up, I was like, Brinley looked back, and she started screaming. And Ev, and I was terrified because I wasn't sure what what's happening to me. And like, and then I asked her, "Oh my gosh, did I did my head crack open?" And then she just didn't say anything because she didn't know what to do. She was, and then Sebi. I told you that's when we got out of the water because yeah, we were so out of we the were, water by then, and we were all we screaming, all went help. out running, and I was and screaming help. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. Oh, okay. And I was screaming help, and that's when Sebi ran off to go and um, get you guys. I didn't see And you. I saw, so I saw an, an employee there, and I was like, oh, he can help me. So I started screaming, help. And I don't know how, but he didn't hear me. I was screaming, like, at the top of my lungs so loud. Mm -hmm. And... Were you out of the water, like, swimming? Yeah, I was out of the water. No, we were, we were running. We were to still walking, over. like, fast. We were still side. walking to try to get somewhere. And that's when I was kind of heading towards, like, that big open area where mm -hmm. you get your floats. And I was I was going and um, I saw Dad and I wasn't sure what like happened and then I was like kind of like I don't really know where my hands were because I just can't really remember mm -hmm. much and then I looked at my hands and I saw a bunch of blood and I was terrified and then there was like blood on my legs and stuff yeah and so when I, I saw you, her and you look terrified so you made me even more scared because I could tell that you were terrified and. When I <laughs> oh, you're tearing up! Stop! Don't tear up! Aww. Aww. It was just because when I saw her, Aww. she had blood all the way down her face. Aww. 
it's still emotional. <laughs> like, um, you probably didn't realize how much it affected me because um, you didn't see all the blood. You actually but, stayed no. really calm though. <clears throat> I tried to. You didn't look that panicked oh. to me. So when I saw her, she was literally covered in blood. So it scared me so bad because I thought um, she had an open wound that was just, you know, gushing blood that was dangerous. Well, she did, but... She did. <clears throat> but it was just so much, it scared me. So I immediately just grabbed a towel and I thought, well, I just got to apply pressure. I thought, I, for some reason, there. I kept saying, like, help me, help me. And I no, was, she I thought was screaming. I was yeah, like, she was I'm screaming, gonna I'm going to die. Help me, help me. Somebody help me. Um, I need help. Can they help me? Um... Am I gonna die? You know, over and over and over. And so, um, <clears throat> then once I applied pressure, I realized it's not. I could argue. I could stop. Thing. Yeah, I could stop the bleeding when I applied pressure. Then I realized I had time to be able to take her to the and to I emergency was, room. And I was on the other side of the pool. With me. And Sebi came running to me, but like there's a pool in between where Sebi was and me. Yeah, it's like you can't pool. get to We couldn't so get to like, her. And so he was like, I was like, what? Because we were about to leave and I was starting to like gather stuff. Oh, yeah, and he, he was, was like, Cap, I don't out. know. He was like, I was like Mom, Mom, Cap, Cap's bleeding. And I was like, uh, What? Yeah. And then. The Sebi ran way far ahead. ahead. She ran. And I was, so I stayed with fast. Cap and we were walking together. Mm -hmm. Maddie and I Jordan. I always saw blood, then I just. Maddie, Jordan, yeah. and um, Brinley were walking with me. And when I looked over to Maddie, she looked back and she was just like, and she was like in shock and she looked terrified. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and it scared Brent and Sebi to death they because it's just so much blood that just scared them. Yeah. When and you, they scared well, I mean, were, were you guys more. worried she was really in trouble and she was yeah, really gonna? Yeah, because I didn't know. I didn't know like. What? I I didn't know what. I didn't know if that would if that's like really if that was like really bad or yeah. it, was, it was like it's okay. Like or go to like. So I didn't I didn't know. Yeah, ambulance now. I didn't know if she or, needed to yeah. just like. You know, it's it's fine. Just get the blood off, or like it was really bad, and she yeah. needed to go like right now. Yeah. So I didn't really know how to react. I know. And at first, it just kind of scared me. Like, but all I heard from everybody was just screaming, and that moment was just so like. Yeah. Because it like, scared like, everybody. There's so like, much blood. I wasn't even everybody. down there. Was yeah. Like, it was, I was like terrifying because all I heard was everybody screaming, and uh, yeah. I don't know. And so I ran up here to the room. What I did? Oh. I ran to the car with oh, her. Yeah. Didn't have the keys. I yeah. had to go sit and yeah. wait. And she had to sit and I wait. I ran remember. back up no, to the hotel. Wasn't, she, wasn't. she, I come into the room with Evie, and I'm like, Evie, I gotta no, take Capri you, you to the. You didn't even tell me. You, oh. you literally ran in. You were on the phone, and you were like oh. running around panicked. And I was sitting on the bed, <laughs> eating my food. Molly had just left my room. Yeah. Because she was with me, and Dad runs in on the phone, yeah. and is like. Like, like saying stuff, and I'm yeah. so confused on what's going on and why he's so mom. why he's so panicked, and I'm mm -hmm. just like, what what's going on? What is it? And um and he was like and he was like, Capri hit her head really really bad, and like we're taking her to like the um the ER, and and I was like I was like what what's yeah. going on? And then that's and when then, he grabbed. And then while he was looking for the keys, I'm like, do you want me to run out to go to Capri? Because yeah. And I got my shoes and I and I ran to Cap. Mm -hmm. And. That's we were we, running through the hotel. Yeah, we looked grabbed keys. crazy. We grabbed ER and, and we Lanky. grabbed Lanky because I knew I saw those and I grabbed those too. And I knew she needed those for I, comfort. When I saw Evie, I knew that everything was going to be okay because Aww. Evie always helps me. Oh, that's so nice. sweet. Aww. Aww. <laughs> I'm so glad I came to help you. Yeah. She, she really she helped. helped. Evie helped her a lot. lot through the hospital. She <laughs> asked her to be with her. So she we loaded in the car and Capri sat on Evie's lap in the front. And just and then, like talked her through the entire way to the hot to the dog. Yeah, she tried to take her mind off of it. She said, "How was Disney? How was your day?" Because Capri was just like hyperventilating from crying. Like she was just shaking and you know and just breathing shake, hard. And, really just like, and she kept like she'd get her mind off of it, and then she'd get her mind back on the, "Am I gonna be okay? Am I?" You know. When we when and then we the were, pain kept coming in waves on her head, yeah. and she was just like, "It hurts. It hurts." And we're like. Driving so fast to the to the. And then we, had to the, we got behind this car that was, was so driving slow. slow and we she could, kept asking me, "Am I gonna be okay? Am I gonna be yeah, okay?" Yeah. And then when we got to the hospital, she laid in bed with me and we mm -hmm. watched TikTok. And, yeah. Um, yeah. And then when they came, um, I was holding y'all's hand, mm -hmm. and then they gave us blankets and water and an encrusted bowl yeah. and um, a pillow. Yeah. So. 
so the doctor assessed it. He said, yeah, you know, so the, it's, it's, it, the, the cut is like this long. I don't know if you can see that for a moment, but it's, it's, I, I, yeah, four, yeah, four to, four and a half, four. Yeah. <laughs> really four to five, uh, honestly. Yeah. But it's, it's also really, it's, like, like, it's just it was so, like, it was, it's like, right yeah, there. yeah, it's, well, it's, it's, it's like, like right that. Yeah. It's and that. then it's like really like, thick. and it's like, so it's, yeah. So, to the bone. To the bone. Like, to the bone and exposed. Oh, exposed bone. When I remember, I, remember so I started you. crying. Yeah. No, I remember asking you if you can, if I, if you can see um, my brain because. Yeah, <laughs> she didn't know. If, yeah, so her first question was, "Can you see my brain?" And I, no, I can the skull. <laughs> so the doctor assessed it. Then he's they numbed her good they topically. Numbed really good, and it felt really weird. It felt like they put like. This is really weird, but they felt it felt like they put like clay on me, clay. and they started just mm. playing with the clay on yeah. my head. Oh. When she couldn't feel it anymore. Oh, yeah. They it numbed her so much. Yeah. That's good. Then the lidocaine shots, which oh, you, she didn't really I know. Didn't know. She just thought she was like, shot. "Ow, that hurts," but she didn't realize. Well, the first one, they the were first behind one her. She literally didn't feel it all. We were just watching yeah. TikTok. Yeah. They told her yeah. that they're getting her ready. Exactly. It, and she literally didn't yeah. feel it. They yeah. said they were getting me ready. Yeah. We kept they saying they kept getting every time you asked. I know. They're Every time they'd, they'd ask her, or she would ask, what are you doing now? We're just getting you ready. I mean, they got a shot right yeah. in, I mean, right in her. Yeah. <laughs> and at one point you had, you had some blood that like dripped right here. Oh yeah, it was like, because they were like, funny. they were like washing, they, yeah. they had like washing you, so, and like cleaning it, so like there was water and it was like making it drip, and uh -huh. you're like, what is that, what is that? And they're like, uh -huh. oh, it's just, the, it's just, don't worry about it, we're, yeah. we're just cleaning you up. Yeah. Just... Yep. Then they sewed her up. And that didn't even hurt. Like I, I didn't feel it. Like yeah. all it felt like was somebody was was they were like actually like poking me, but like with pressure, not it's pain, so, more pressure. Yeah, no, not, not even pressure. Like, oh, not even pressure. I couldn't feel anything. Yeah, like, it's hard to explain the way yeah. it felt, but it just felt like they were just like sticking through like skin, but like that wasn't my skin. Yeah, it yeah. was weird. Okay. Sewed her up, then they just double checked to make sure it wouldn't pool blood underneath because it started to bleed while they were sewing her up. And then when it sewed up tight, totally, mm -hmm. the bleeding stopped and they checked her for that. Mm -hmm. And then that was it. Mm -hmm. She's got she's got this bandage that's tight on her <laughs> with a, and to help stop, make sure no Whenever bleeding first. Whenever I make first. some type of facial, like if I raise my eyebrows or like, sometimes when I like my, when I like smile, I can't do like a full smile because it hurts. Mm -hmm. it's like pulling on it and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's it. That's our story. Wow. Just, and, and I have Dramatic. to say, I never that thought the, ever the hotel life. staff was so kind oh, to help yeah. us out. So kind. Mm -hmm. They were like, please let us know if there's anything we can do. What can we do to help you? Please mm -hmm. let us know. We're, we're 24 hours. Whatever you need. They were going to call the, you know, we went back yeah. and on whether to call the ambulance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so Daniel felt like he could get there quicker. Mm -hmm. So that's why he went, but they were going to call for us and they're like, we'll come right to the front, wherever she is, you know, they'll, they'll, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll work it out. We'll, mm -hmm. you know, they were just, so you know, they were really good. And then, um, so yeah. Honestly, yeah. I never thought that like, I would actually get like hit in my head and have to get stitches. Like yeah. I never thought that was going to I mean, it, we were talking like this could have gone so worse because she, the way, like, she hit mm -hmm. it so hard and the, mm -hmm. the wound is so massive mm -hmm. that like it, it, it had to hit anywhere else. It's like, not it like she just like sliced her. Yeah, it like to eye, nose, yeah. lips, teeth, anything. Yeah, but it was just a, yeah, it's right inside the hairline. So the scar should, you know, be somewhat, somewhat hidden, hidden, you know. I mean, like, you know, we're talking, yeah. it's not here, right? It's right. It's like right yeah. on yeah. her hair. Yeah. 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 Like kind of like right. Mm-hmm. On yep. the other side, though. Yep, oh. on the other side, but yep. Right there. And we can just part your hair, you know. Let it hang over top of it a little bit. That's how you yeah. part it. So we'll show you when we take it all off. And then, of course, like, um, her hair is, like, going to be this short because they had to, you know, on some parts right there yeah, where her scar is. They had to cut it to get it out of the wound. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. It's okay. Gross. Yeah. You know. But you got a good look right now for Disney. She wants for to go Magic Disney. Kingdom. We were like, "How about we just relax?" And she was like, "No." I really, I want to go. She needs. Yeah. Something. Doctor says you're fine, walking around. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yep. As long as this doesn't come off. Yeah, this mm -hmm. has to stay on for 24 yeah. hours, mm -hmm. and then after two days, she can wash her hair. But like, you know, we'll be. Oh, and I, the I'm, stitches—they um, they 
they like dissolve on their own. Mm -hmm. So they don't have to take them out. Which is mm -hmm. crazy to me. I know. For that kind of so moment. I know. I know. And I'm so mm -hmm. glad. And if that had been on the back of the head, they would have stapled it. But mm. I know. I was, yeah. I was so front, terrified yeah. that they were going to staple No, because was, the scarring. Uh, and I was, yeah. Like, oh, no, They'll never do staples And I was like just that. thinking at yep. that time, like, that's why I kept asking them. That's why I kept asking you, are they going to stitch me? Because I was mm. terrified that they had to staple no, no, no. Oh, no, they yeah. But I didn't want yeah. They'd never do that. Yeah. No. Mm -mm. Places where you can't see well. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. And that's Bye. the story of Capri. Okay. <laughs> Bye. I'd rather be with you than someone I don't know. Now it's like we're living in two separate worlds. Come on back to me. Say that you won't go. I can't cope without you and I want to hold you close.